In this video, we are modifying the FPS Creator Kit by adding a simple slow motion effect when we defeat enemies. With this modification, you'll be able to understand the fundamentals of how timescale works in Unity. In this project, we are going to create a little bit of code. If you're new to code, we got you covered. There is also another Creator Kit that covers code called Creator Kit Beginner Code, which is linked on the Unity Learn site. The first thing we want to do is to create a function which can be called from anywhere in our game, which will slow down time when we call it. We'll do this by adding a new function to our game system script, which we will then call when an enemy is defeated. The game system script is attached to a game object in our scene called game system. Select it and then double click the attached game system component to open it for editing in Visual Studio. At the end of our code, after the target destroyed function, Let's write a public function that returns an IE numerator for a slow motion coroutine. A coroutine is a type of function which can delay execution, meaning we can start it, have it wait, and then continue. This is the structure we need to follow when creating a coroutine. Let's call it slow motion sequence. We want this coroutine to change the global time speed of the game to something slow, and then after one second, return to normal speed. The time scale of our game is normally one. So to make it slower, we need to set to a floating point number less than one. Let's declare a variable of the type float at the top of our script under the m underscore timer variable on line 28. We'll call this m underscore slow motion scale and initialize it to point 2f. So now back in the first line of our coroutine, let's change the time scale by typing time dot time scale equals m underscore slow motion scale. Then let's use this line of code yield return new wait for second real time one to indicate to our script that we want to wait one second before executing the next line of code. In the next line, we will set the time scale back to one. Now, to have this happen when our enemy is killed, we need to find an enemy in the scene and click on it. In the inspector window, we can see all of the components that are attached to the enemy, and one of them is the target script. Let's double click that, and it will open in our code editor Visual Studio. If we go to line 68 of our code, we can see that below it, we are deactivating the defeat object, and there is already a function of the game system being called, which is counting the score for each enemy defeated. Since we also want to do something after an enemy is defeated, we will call our new coroutine from just after we register the score. Let's place it on the line after we update the score and write game system dot instance dot start coroutine parentheses game system dot instance dot slow motion sequence and parentheses. Now, when we return to Unity and test our game by finding an enemy and defeating him, there we go. We now have a cool slow motion effect for when our germ enemy is destroyed. Hopefully you've had a great time exploring this creator kit. Don't forget there are three other creator kits covering different game types and topics for you to learn from as well. Or if you're having fun, feel free to continue to modify and expand on this one. If you'd like to learn more, don't forget to check out some of the other projects on the Unity Learn site.